Patrix is one of the most popular resource packs out there, and I think it's obvious why. Its textures are absolutely beautiful, and the way the pack looks with shaders is truly amazing. But I know what you're thinking, why does a resource pack need a tutorial? Well, the reason is simple. The pack is filled with extra features, optional add-ons, and bonus packs. And if you're using Fabric, a moderately long list of mods, though if you're on Forge, then simply using Optifine will suffice. So let's jump into it then. The resource pack is available in a free 32x version, and higher resolution versions up to 256x are available on Patrick's Patreon, though you're probably going to want to stick to the 64 or 128x versions, because the 256x version is very resource intensive. The 32 and 64x versions come with 4 packs each, basic, add-on, bonus, and models. The basic pack is required and contains all the essentials. Add-on has optional features that fit regular gameplay, and bonus has optional features that do not fit regular gameplay. A quick example of a bonus feature is that the black wool and carpets become futuristic computer screens. Useful if you're making a spaceship, but not so much if you want black carpets in your house. For a detailed description of what each optional pack adds, check the features list text files inside each optional pack. Oh, and if you'd rather not use certain features, you can disable them individually to suit your taste. Lastly, the model pack adds certain optional custom models for a few things, such as stalactites and 3D crystals on certain ores. The 128 and 256X versions come with additional packs for mobs and items instead of including them in the basic pack like the lower res versions do. Whichever combination of packs you decide to use, just make sure that the basic one is placed underneath all of the others. As for the other packs, they can be placed in any order and it won't matter. Patrix uses connected textures, which makes blocks of the same type connect to each other, as well as allow transitions between blocks of different types. If the grass looks like this, that means that no mod supporting connected textures is found. The solution is to add Optifine if you're on Forge, or Continuity if you're on Fabric. Some double slabs have special textures, such as cobble with a stone border, a potion shelf, Tudor wood frames, and a log cabin wall. These textures are part of the add-on and bonus packs. Some fence and wall blocks can have their block states manipulated to create some entirely new decoration blocks, such as small rocks, logs, coins, pots, and more. This requires the debug stick, and therefore creative mode. You can use the following command to give yourself a debug stick. When you set all the block states to false, the special decoration block will appear. Note that if you place a block next to it, it'll revert to its proper state. What's amazing is that all this is done without adding any new blocks, just using existing blocks and modifying their texture according to their block state. This means that you can enjoy these textures even on unmodded servers since everything is client-side. So compared to a pack like Conquest Reforged, which also has a mod that adds new blocks, Patrix is a more flexible option. You can also have small and large wheels, which are actually the heads of pistons and sticky pistons. You can use the following command, which I'll leave in the comments. You can also further manipulate the block state to change between small and large wheels. Doors can be made to have a height of 3 blocks by simply applying a redstone signal. Note that this is just aesthetic and that physically the door will still only take up 2 blocks of space. One of my favorite features is that petrified oak slabs can be used as food baskets. These really add a certain ambiance to medieval markets. Another way to add character to your medieval builds is by using sea pickles. 1-3 to three sea pickles will appear as tankards, and 4 of them will appear as a bowl of random food. Something that improves the usability of birchwood is that any slab stair pressure plate will appear as thatch in any non-birch biome. I also highly suggest that if you want to get the most out of this resource pack that you download the world file provided on Patrick's Patreon and try things out for yourself. On top of that, there's a ton of amazing builds to admire in there. These are just a few tips for using the Patrick's resource pack, and there are way more features than what I've just shown. If you want to know more, there's a ton of information on the Discord, and be sure to check the pinned comments in the help channel. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more, then please consider subscribing and activating notifications. Thank you for watching.